Hey guys, Jeff here, Mo Outdoors. I was going to show you another couple of my, uh, my stoves that I use. Uh, this one I really like. Um, I know we all try to be minimalist, but when I go out for a couple of days, I enjoy taking a frozen steak along to thaw for my first night. And if you wrap it right, you can even have that for the next night's meal uh, with it frozen. This is um, just a small stove, hooks to a can. And um, I found these on eBay. I think this was $12, $13. But what I really like about it is it's got a little bit more oomph to it. I think this burner here is um, 6,000 BTU, where most of your little small, uh, tall China uh, $8 stoves are about 3,000, 3,500. So this is a little bit bigger setup. It's not much heavier. Um, I like boiling my water, but uh, this here I can take um, a much larger setup, not much lo uh, heavier. But what it is, is um, it's got a twice the size burner so you're not hitting right in the middle of a pan you can actually utilize a lightweight fry pan mess kit and you get even burning around it so um, uh, this one here comes with a nice little carrying case all I do is wrap mine up but uh, when I use my um, I have uh, a tech sport and this has got the copper bottom stainless steel works very nice comes with your, um, I did a review on this, but it comes with your boiling uh, pot uh, that has a locking handle, which is uh, really handy. But uh, this one here, I really like because I can fry things. Um, I can cook whatever I really want to cook, just like at home. And um, so this has got a lot of adjustment to it. And it'll really, uh, it'll fire up. But what's nice is I can really idle it down. What I also like is the fact that I can put a windscreen around this if I need to. I've really not found that I've needed to uh, in case of windy conditions. But I can keep my tank out here in, in a safe area and not underneath, uh, making my cook uh, unit much taller when I'm using the can plus the uh, three inch um, other China version of the stove. It has piezo ignition and uh, it just, uh, it's great for if you wanted to. Um, actually, what I do is I'll take a piece of steak out and I always take some squash and zucchini with me, uh, fresh. I leave them whole and then I cut them up. I put a little bit of uh, um, olive oil in this, some salt and pepper on my steak, and you can put it all in there and actually have quite a meal. Uh, I eat right out of this and um, this just works. Um, really neat so it's a good setup and it really gets hot quick so that's kind of dandy I like this um, again it has a lot of adjustment uh, if you want to just simmer something you can do that at a very low rate um, or you can crank it up and get uh, 6000 BTU um, so it's pretty handy if you need to level a little bit it's easy just to put something under the uh, a little stick or rock there but it sure uh, puts out some nice heat and uh, I like the ignition on these uh, they work every time I've needed them but um, uh, so this to me is more of a, a cook setup that you can stay out for a couple days I enjoy eating my evening meal I can get by with oatmeal and snacks at, uh, uh, on the trail and for lunch and uh, but when I take this I really um, am set to prep different foods for what I'm going to eat instead of just boiling water. Um, I like being a minimalist, but <clears throat> when I hike and I go out and have fun in the woods, I like to, uh, to take my actual camp gear along and my mess kits that um, I can cook and eat really good while I'm out there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a great little unit and uh, uh, please subscribe. We'll uh, pass along some other equipment that I, uh, that I use and test. So anyway, hope you have a great year. See you on the next Mo Outdoors.